Go. This is the reverse engineering of a flashlight. Part one is the lid. The lid is used to seal all the other parts and it screws on top of the body as shown here. And then part two, the body. The body is yellow. It has a button on it to help cut on the flashlight. This part is used to seal all of the other parts. It contains them. Part three, the bulb container. This contains the bulb, keeps it from shaking and moving around, helps get a steady beam going. This is part four, the lens, see through which the bulb shines light through when the owner moves the button in the body of the flashlight and it keeps dirt from getting out and keeps your parts inside it. This is the bulb which the light's created through, which powers, which is the power sent to in the flashlight. And here's my inventor drawings and my dimension drawings and the parts themselves. Part six is the bulb holder. It holds the bulb itself. It's silver, pretty shiny. That's my IED drawing, and that's my dimension drawings of that part. As you can see here, this is the assembly drawing, but it is called this is called the exploded view. And as you see, there's the body, the lens, the bulb, the holder, and the container. And there's the lid. At the bottom, we have our disassembly chart. We weighed each part, measured it, right how it helped contribute to the flashlight. Some other little fun stuff. The flashlight was very hard to draw in the inventor due to all of the other small ridges in the container. And you had to draw the ridges as seen right here and inside of here. Also getting the dimensions of the ridges parts was pretty difficult. If you look here on the disassembly chart, we have some specifics if you want to know. The part name, the number of the part, the quantity, the dimensions, the function, what the part was made of, the mass or the weight, and the texture, and the name of the part. First engineering helped us learn a lot about a flashlight especially. The various different parts that they have and just how it works all together. But when using the reverse engineering project we did not have to draw the motherboard of the flashlight which is contained inside of the body. This that process saved us a lot of time and effort. Although it was very hard to use Inventor we now know new things about Inventor that we didn't know before. Thank you.